Cinema 5D at IBC 2011. Sponsored by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. Okay, this is uh, Tonis from Kinotechnic here. And uh, this is our new, new product. This is our new electronic viewfinder. Let's engage it. One second, under one second power up time. And okay, let's go through the, the features. We can have safe area guides. We can have zebras. These are mid-tone zebras right now. We have red peaking. This is especially, especially useful. Let's, let's see, oh yeah. There we are. And we can have a peaking on black and white. Let's see. The, here we go. Of course, we can have a, a false color. False color works along with the peaking, so you can see your exposure and peaking at the same time. And then we can have the economy button. When you are using it as a viewfinder, you can dim down the backlight, so the backlight uh, won't irritate your eyes for long takes and so on. Then when we then we have a, uh, this uh, zoom in function. You can zoom in. You can see the portion of where you are zoomed in, and then then you can change the position of the zoomed in. And then then you can of course recall it all the time wherever you want. And the of course the peaking still works, so you can really closely see what, what, what you are focusing on. So that means you can also uh, actually zoom in while you're recording, right? Yes, absolutely. This is, uh, and um, the, the zoom in always adjusts to in what aspect you are shooting. For example, this uh, can handle the anamorphic shooting and then the zoom in will be in this, inside this box and all the safe area guides will be according to actual aspect. And the Main, main special feature is uh, like you can have your custom crop. If your image is, has black borders or, or things like that, you can, uh, you can adjust or crop your image accordingly. I will just quickly do a little demo. Now we have these lines here and I can just set the amount of crop. And what is especially special about that is that automatically four different resolutions that you have cropped will uh, remain automatic. When you are going from on, uh, from recording to preview, it will be remembered. If you have uh, another crop for another camera, past four resolutions will be automatically remembered. And of course it has the presets for Canon, Red One, for example. It can handle the uh, non-standard resolutions and you can even output from your iPad if, if you want via HDMI and crop accordingly. And let's see, let's go back. And now we have the, the image still. I, I didn't crop out the exposure and, and things like that, but you can of course do that and have your own composition line. You, this composition line is configurable and and center cross every every everything that every operator has ever used basically. And and uh, by the release we will have the uh, audio levels and histogram. So the, pretty much that that is it, and it, it will be available in large quantities uh, in November. Before that, uh, someone will receive some units, but, but uh, we will be basically sold out till November because all the pre-orders and things like that, uh, we're pretty, pretty much, pretty much back order till November. What about the mount? Yes, the, the, the mount has a built-in tilt features like any ENG, uh, ENG viewfinder. And as you can see, it has uh, this 15 uh, millimeter port here, so you can attach it to any any road system. And included, uh, everything is mounting system is included, and it will have this uh, little adapter that you can. Uh, yeah, basically, this is the initial hot, sh hot shoe mount that will be included. You can have your road here, and um, so you can mount it on top roads or bottom roads. It's a really universal system that that is is included and. 
uh, also is include this adapter that you can uh, uh, screw in your mounting arms or whatever you like or if you have really special configuration so yeah how how will it be powered what about battery yes batteries it has four four double a batteries that just like that you can change it with one hand and off you go and the battery power is uh, for five hours and if you use the economy mode as a viewfinder with dim down backlight it will operate for six hours and you can of course power it externally and external power is from four volts to 16 and a half volts in the specifications we will uh, say it's like 15 volts but uh, it will handle the big uh, uh, sony mount um, big brick batteries does the viewfinder have diopter uh, adjustment? Yes, and the and diopter adjustment is uh, from uh, minus 3 to plus 2. And it has the standard helicoid uh, uh, diopter system, it, so it won't uh, uh, change the length. Because if you are operating your camera, have set up the, the, uh, the viewfinder, and someone else wants to use it, you, and you change the, this, this distance here, won't change. It's like, it's like on any on any professional camera. Okay, thank you.